if, if you are take the view that culture is our way of life, the way we live in the world, culture is created in the process of, of work, of production. So if we, if we take the view that culture is created in the process of production, um, then, um, then there is no way one can divorce culture from issues of land governance. Um, and, and therefore, it's really appropriate that um, those of us who work on land governance pay attention to communities and the ways in which they engage with the land in terms of decision making, in terms of institutions uh, for conflict mediation and conflict um, you know, uh, mitigation and so forth and so on. And if you talk, think about climate change also, the ways in which communities are mitigating climate change uh, culturally in a sustainable way, maybe by growing indigenous foods um, and so forth. So um, uh, arts, culture, and, and heritage are really, really important uh, to, uh, to the conference. And in fact, the theme for this year is arts, culture, and heritage. And, and, and it is only fair that any activities taking place on the continent um, pay attention to this very important theme that has been agreed at the African Union level. The African Land Policy Center works on issues of um, you know, knowledge production. So there is the issue of how we generate knowledge, but also ways in which policies become reshaped so that they are much more inclusive and much more community driven. So we are hoping that at the conference, we will have an opportunity to discuss ways in which communities become much more integrated um, in our thinking and our plans uh, for you know, policy reform uh, so that communities and their cultures are not seen to be um, uh, extra to policy discussions, but actually are integral to policy discussions. So we're hoping that in the course of the conference, we will have opportunities to discuss policies that can drive um, you know, systematic urbanization on the continent, that can integrate communities more directly so that communities are integral to the policy reform uh, processes, and that we can, in fact, also have intergenerational dialogue, because most of the young people are in arts and culture and creative industries um, and so on. So how do they get integrated into policy, uh, policy discussions, even as they work within the creative industries uh, sectors? So this is what we are hoping to, to achieve, uh, much more inclusive approaches to land policy dialogues. People uh, can become more involved because for the first time, we are having a moment where we can discuss film, we can discuss visual arts, we can discuss fashion uh, with land economists and to show that there are opportunities in, in, in these sectors.